guys, this is Ra Ra Coco, and this is your quick update with regards to BBIG, thicker symbol BBIG, Vinca Ventures. Okay, as you may know, Ferguson Container is owned by BBIG, okay? This company is actually a very profitable company for BBIG, all right? Just wanted to let you know, when the pandemic starts, this company is actually distributing a lot of profits to BBIG. The reason why is they are also selling, um, what do you call that, uh, protective equipment like masks, gloves, containers, and all of that. So this company is a very, very solid company, okay? And, this, and guess what? This is owned by BBIG. You can even search this under their uh a financial filing, and you can look at a container, a Ferguson container, it is there, okay? This is what, what, what they do. Our years of experience and vast industry knowledge result in the highest quality work of our client. When we come to work every day, our goal is to exceed our client's expectation and provide everyone with the most efficient and logically sound solution to their to their corrugated product and packaging needs, okay? This is, let's see what they do. So they do design sampling and manufacturing, okay? They do um, sustainable packaging, custom displays, fulfillment, fulfillment logistic, and shipping. Okay, this is what they do. If you look at the design and sap sampling manufacturing, these are their product. This is this company is actually very very solid, and they've been in the, they've been out for the longest time. All right, they've been in business for the longest time. They're already proven, and they are pandemic proof kind of company. And this company is active actually this quarter are actually doing way more better profitable wise, okay, making good, 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 good money uh, for BBIG, okay, they do custom displays, which is this one, all right, they also do fulfillment, another, uh, let's see, fulfillment logistic, fulfillment logistic and shipping, okay, and so that is really, really good. If you want to go and check out their website and see what they do, go ahead and take a look at fergusoncontainers.com and you can be able to see those uh, Ferguson company, okay? Now take a look at this hedge funds. You remember this hedge funds, right? Anchorage Capital, they are closing. 7.4 billion company, they are closing. They are famous on shorting um, companies, all right? They are shutting down. That's number one. Here's another one. Tyborn Capital Management, shutting down, close. 2.8 billion hedge funds. They are shutting down as in closing, right? These are famous short sellers. Now, that's number two. Now, take a look at what the DOJ is doing. DOJ opens a criminal probe into short selling research firms, hedge funds report, okay? They are investigating, um, the U.S. Department of Justice has opened a criminal probe into the practices of hedge fund and research firm that rely on short selling Bloomberg News report Friday, uh, less than a day after a note from Hindenburg, hide nearly one billion from the market value of Technoglass, okay? Bloomberg said that the investigation will be run by the DOJ Los Angeles office, will help from federal first prosecutors, and will focus on how or if hedge fund track stocks targeted by the research firm prior to the publication of a report on specific companies. So the DOJ is going to investigate massive short sellers, okay? At the beginning of the month, which is three, which is uh, like in January, February, March, they have investigated dozen, dozen. They issued subpoena to uh, hedge funds and short sellers. Okay, they wanted their buying and then their selling. How they're getting their information? They are investigating that now. 
three months ago, they issued a dozen subpoena again. So that's total of 24 or maybe more, all right? Maybe more, but dozen of subpoena to short sellers because this is what they do. For example, BBIG, right? When BBIG went to $12, right? So they will borrow, uh, when, when it went up to $12, $10 or, or 10, let's say $10, they borrowed tons of shares of BBIG at $10 price, right? Now it went down to $2 to $3. Now they're going to return that at two or $3, right? So from three from ten dollars to three dollars, there's a seven dollar profit. Can you imagine if they bought thousands and thousands of shares, even synthetic shares, shorting BBIG? That is a massive profit for them. That's what they did, right? That's what they did. But a lot of them also, a lot of these short sellers, they have not closed their position yet. There are massive opening and massive synthetic shares. That's why right now we are at 100% utilization, right? They've used all of it. All the shares that is out, available out there, they've totally used it, right? So if you like this kind of information, guys, my name is Ra Ra Coco, okay? The short sellers have not closed their position yet. We went up $3 um, Friday. Short sellers are being investigated. Um, Hedge funds are closing. What is going on? Are we near the MOAS? Is there something going on? Is BBIG um, about to explode? You tell me. I buy, I hold, I repeat. I buy, I hold, I repeat. I think that BBIG is a stock that is a game changer. It's, it's, the mo it's one of the most what you call it transfer of wealth from from another person to another person this company is a great company and i'm gonna stay with them for the long term thank you very much my name is ra ra coco may you have peace love and prosperity be with you all please subscribe help the channel out please hit the like button. Please hit the notification button. Thank you very much. And you have a great day.